I'm getting ready for work right now and I wanted to really quickly show you guys the summer no makeup makeup look that I have been doing recently. It literally takes 10 minutes. Let's get right into it, I guess. We're gonna underpaint. Ever since I did the clean girl makeup in my road blush review video, I have been doing the clean girl makeup look. Like... It's so good for a day where you want to look a little bit more put together, but you don't want to do a full face, but you don't want to not wear makeup. I just went through a really big phase of not wearing makeup at all, ever. I'm okay. That was dramatic. At least just like in daily life, like I will go through phases where I do want to wear a little bit of makeup and... It's honestly way too fucking early for me to be talking so much and like trying to give instruction about what the fuck I'm doing with my makeup. My brain isn't on yet, like I just woke up. Okay, anyways, so we've underpainted. I use a brush and I use this Makeup by Mario contour thing. And then I go in with one of the road blushes. I don't know which one I'm gonna use today. Okay, this is the one I opened, so this is the one I'm gonna use. This one is Sleepy Girl. And I just put it directly on the skin. And then we're gonna use a brush to blend. A brush to Brent a brush to blend. Wait, I was saying something. I go through phases where I like to wear a little bit of makeup to feel a little bit more put together. And I most recently went through a really long phase where I didn't wear makeup just like on a daily basis because I was just into the no makeup look, like not even minimal makeup, like absolutely no makeup. And ever... <sighs> But ever since I did the clean girl makeup, I've been kind of into the no makeup makeup look because it's so quick and it just gives you a little bit of put togetherness when you don't want to do like a full face. Then I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. We are not using concealer or foundation or anything like that. Um, of course, it goes without saying. I'm using a beauty blender to blend this out. It goes without saying you can adjust your no makeup makeup look according to your own preferences and your own skin type because I know a lot of people, even with a no makeup makeup look, still prefer to have a little bit more coverage. Personally, I find that if I do any more than this, it's gonna turn into a full beat. And when I go to work, I just don't wanna have all that makeup on my face for the entire day. Also, by the end of work, I'm like way too fucking lazy to take my makeup off and it ends up sitting there until like I want to go to bed I'm too tired after work to like take my makeup off right away and then I go back in and I kind of like redefine my contour and then I also go back in with my blush and I kind of redo that and you're probably like what's the purpose of underpainting if you're just gonna go back over well I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't actually know. Now I go in with powder, a super light hand, and I just set in the places that I need to set, under my eyes, around my nose, forehead, eyelids, chin, right here. Now, new product alert. I actually have already used this, but for the sake of the video, I haven't. We're gonna set the liquid blush with this powder br blush. <laughs> I'm struggling. This actually goes so well with the piggy blush. Actually, I kind of want to just add some piggy. I was on set for a music video and there was a girl who had this blush. She let me use it because there was like this rain scene that we did and so all my makeup was kind of like melted off. I was so surprised by how much I liked this color on my skin. This is one of those like viral products that you don't know if it's actually gonna be good or not, but I personally love it. I love it. Although I don't know why it does this thing where I don't know what's happening here, but I don't love that. Cause now it's all ugly, but whatever. The color is randomly so pretty and I think it's a great pairing with the piggy blush. And it's also just like a great summer blush. Then I go in with my 100 year old palette and I set my contour. I don't do too much. Okay, we're not doing too much. We're just setting so your shit doesn't move. And then sometimes I will take my foundation brush. I won't put anything on it. I'll literally just use whatever excess is on it and blend out my skin a little bit more so it doesn't look so harsh and bring some skin texture back to the skin after the powder. Next thing, I will take my little liquid highlight and um, highlight my face. I'm using obviously this little Charlotte Tilbury highlight wand and this is just the shade 
named Spotlight. The last thing I do to add just a little cherry on top of it being a no makeup makeup look, I take freckles. So I don't have a freckle product. So what I do is I just take a dark brown eyeshadow and a really thin brush and make freckles. I don't really know how to describe this, but I just take the tip of it and I'll tap it out so it looks natural. It's not as dark. Okay, cute. We have our freckles. The very last thing, I keep saying last thing, but there keeps being more things after that. Not the last thing. The next thing is my eyebrows. We're just gonna gel them up. I don't fill them in or anything because I kind of find that it's too dramatic for my face, especially for like a no makeup makeup look. Actually, last thing, just some lip liner. I like to use, oh, I keep forgetting to show you the products that I'm using, I'm so sorry. If you're a makeup girly, which I assume you are gonna be a makeup girly for watching a video like this, I feel like you can tell the products that I'm using just by what they look like, but this is the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. I feel like all the products that I use have gone viral at one point or another. Oh, not last thing. I also go over my eyelids with a light brown eyeshadow just to like add a little bit more definition. I am such an amazing beauty guru. Okay, cute. I feel like I look so tired. I'm feeling a little bit shiny, so I'm gonna go back in with my powder and just like lightly set under my eyes. And so much of this look, honestly, just the way that I do my makeup in general is like adjusting as I go. Like if something looks wrong, I'm just gonna like adjust accordingly. Genuine fucking last thing. I'm gonna take a lip liner, something really natural. I like this ColourPop lippy pencil. I don't really know what this color is, but that's the shade. Also a really good alternative is Pillow Talk, which I also have, but that's just not what I went for today, I guess. But this is the Pillow Talk lipstick. So in the middle of the day, I will go in with one of these. Once my lipstick fades, one of these will be my victim. That is the routine. I'm gonna really quickly do my hair and put on my outfit and I will be back with the final look. Okay, I am fucking running late now. I should have left three minutes ago, but we're almost done. I kind of feel like a glasses moment would be so cute. There's something happening outside of my... Ooh. Wait, I don't have time to be doing all this, but here I am anyways. Here's the fit and the makeup. Okay, I really have to go. I'll touch base as the day continues to show you how the makeup wears. That was really cringy. I didn't like that at all. I'm on my 10 minute break. I'm going with the salty tan shade now that we're halfway through the day. This is how the makeup is wearing. Okay, we're done with work. Eight hours later, this is how it wears. She still looks gorge. This is my summer makeup for the summer. Ugh, ow, my tummy hurts. Uh, give, and now we don't, we're, now we're, okay. Ooh, just for a little, little bling bling, little, I don't know, what the fuck? I don't know the actual like science behind it. Oh my God, not us talking about science. It's literally too early for that. I don't want to sit here and pretend like I'm in a fucking good mood because I'm not. I'm not in a good mood. I had a really uncomfortable conversation at work and I'm like trying to like, mm, look at my makeup, look at my makeup. No. But yes, no, my makeup.